at three o'clock. Three hours. Yeah. And it's really, it's, <clears throat> it's been good, but he is our purple Protoss, the unstoppable DeWalt. He's been through a couple times. Then at 12 o'clock, he's our yellow Terran. He's back for a rematch. He's ready to exact his revenge in a reverse race battle royale. It is our yellow Terran cross. <clears throat> so, what do you think Cross has planned? Oh, I don't know what he has planned exactly, but I, I will tell you, he most likely has something planned after watching everything because, I mean, this dude specifically asked for Terran, so he he probably like was like, all right, I see something I could take advantage of with the Walt after the past two games, most likely, and then whatever that be. I'm I'm wondering if it is a cheese because I I don't I mean Cross you knowing him you know he likes to go for that that flashy like not flash but like I get you saying style you know? yeah yeah but he's going two x okay maybe it's time to pull the boys yeah <laughs> but the zealot but the zealot pressure is always the same you know so true Dewalt um, again getting unlucky with his scouting. Maybe it's the same yeah, for everybody, normally, but normally you see players, especially one v one, they scout usually direction of six, twelve, three, and nine. But um, the Walt's been usually content just scouting whoever's whichever base right next to him. It yeah, seems. and I don't know. I guess it's not as good because <laughs> you either get yeah. you're getting very lucky maybe you want to pretty much do those cross spawn checks because you have a higher likelihood of yeah see there it is three six what do you say three six nine yeah really just the not the corner positions because they are the shortest travel distance but okay and you also have just a higher chance of seeing the other person's scout in the middle of the map as well if you're just doing cross bonds checks. Right. Potentially, too. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, these Marines are definitely ready for that Z-Lot. So if cross is ready, okay, that was just a right click. And, and one goes down. Okay. Uh, still good. Still good. These Marines are pretty... Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. But more are coming, so... Yeah. And the we're Marines... also going to see the probe diverge, too. Or converge, I mean. The SCV, it's just, oh, SCV's dead. Never mind. Zed's dead, baby. Okay, he is moving at least the red marine back. And yep, you're right. Same thing as always. Harass, and then let's move in with the probe. Again, if, if, um, if it ain't broke, then it's time to just <laughs> kill another Terran. <laughs> Hopefully not. I, like we said before, Cross is going to be prepared, and I think he mm -hmm. is probably feeling extra motivated based off of his first game today, too. Yeah. Um, That's an awesome Marine. Yeah, great job. Great micro. Well, only the first Marine, I think. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this current attack, yeah. Yeah. And he's starting his bunker, and it's within range of the probe, and it's within range. Oh, ouch. Uh, unfortunately, it is TR-16, so... True. Microing is a little TR bit tougher. Yeah. SCV goes down. He's going to need to bring down another SCV. I'd say overall, he's he's battling it pretty well. Mm. It just doesn't hurt Protoss as much as it hurts Terran to lose these units. Okay, look at that. Okay. Um, oh, my gosh. That oh, was so bunker. clutch. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That was really close. If he'd gotten that biker up, it's very self-explanatory, but he just had all that extra muscle. He would have been able to repair it, and he would have taken down just probably everything that Protoss has right here. Even mm -hmm. still, just this one cannon and three zealots plus the probe, and just depends on what all those Marines inside the bunker would have attacked. Dude, this is going to be... Like, he is locked in. Maybe if he had Stim already, he might be able to bust it but even now there's too many cannons he's not dead though and i wouldn't say he's it's not even dire right i think he's fine yeah it's just not crazy bad it's just that what you saw with the first game what as the you know letting taran get out with the marine medic army the zealots don't really are able to complete compete so having this cannon wall is so important and the fact that cross just can't get out when he was so close to not letting the wall wall him in Mm hmm sort of tough you know tough pill to swallow yeah for but. sure 
getting that factory out, but he just can't do anything about the tech is all. You know? He just can't delay anything, so. Right. Can't force him to build cannons at home. Can't force him. I mean, mm-hmm. he's building zealots anyways, but they can't force him to have to build them. Instead of choosing right. to and teching, he doesn't have to choose between cannons, probes, tech, and zealots, and also yeah. running around and microwing. He just, it's a, a very comfortable position, again, from the Protoss side. And playing as Terran in 1v1, I know, like, it sounds, when I start to talk like that, to me, it starts to sound dire. I do believe that Terran is still used to this because they, even in threes fastest, you still get cannoned in all the time. So you are used to needing to tech up yourself. You are used to needing like just tanks in a big bio ball or being ready for drops or DTs or whatever. That just comes with the territory. But I do agree with what you're saying that he was like, he's just a sliver away from keeping mm-hmm. DeWalt from being able to do that and play so comfortably and to be out and have mm-hmm. some map control. So it's too bad, but it's again, now it just continues on a more normal path instead of an aggressive Terran path. Mm-hmm. A lot of pylons, a lot of pylons. Yeah. Uh, another thing I was hoping for was, you know, what was cross going to do different than the other Terrans? And I was hoping for maybe something like, like proxy, you know, like proxy tank, proxy port, or even like two proxy facts or Raxes where he like floats them into the base for fire, pa- fire bats. Mm-hmm. Um, I wonder if he just got caught up in the early pressure or if he was just planning on playing standard. I would have liked to see something a little bit more different, but um, I'm sure he feels confident with how he normally plays. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, is that Mm. he probably doesn't feel like he needs to do anything weird. Just just do whatever he had planned in case he had randomed as Terran, which I'm sure is just exactly what we're looking at. Just build up, be defensive if you need to, and then mm. make sure that your your macro's on point and be ready to defend against anything, um, which isn't always easy to do, I know. I do think, I was actually thinking a minute ago, it would have been cool before DeWalt put all these pylons out there. I was kind of thinking something similar. I was like, man, if he just like, I wonder what it would look like if he'd floated some barracks off to the side. I know it's a very noob thing for me to say, but it's kind of the same idea. Or like that one Terran at how... Oh, why can't I remember his name? It's just a few minutes ago. It was just before Sky. No, it was Sky. Duh. I do remember it was Sky when Sky tried to do that Firebat drop. Mm-hmm. Well, it wasn't a drop, but you know, Firebat proxy, the lift proxy. All right, DeWalt sees the drop. And he's even got a second layer of pylons and probes to be ready for this. And he's got a cannon already, and he's got some Templar. He does He does have Firebats in it, so he can tank some damages while going. True. That. He has multiple Firebats. Oh. Star. Ah, I beat oh. Stim! Get some probes! <laughs> okay, he does. He had two on one, and then what was the other one that just barely went down? Was it like five or seven, maybe? Maybe got like ten-ish probes? Yeah, he definitely got double digits. He still has about three, two and a half control units group of orbs, so that was definitely worth it. And you yeah. can see actually across, look at the supply count. Yeah, he's up. He's mm-hmm. up by, well, no, I mean, does, yeah. go ahead. Sorry. Oh, he does have to sort of at this point now extremely respect the drop because the only thing that can beat him now is the the finesse play where the wall doesn't engage him head on because Crust has a superior army. That was true whether or not he got the uh, fire bats. But now, like there is onus for Cross to push now, which is the fact that he lost all those workers. So true. If, as long as Cross doesn't take huge damage, I can see him just pushing and out pushing out and winning right here. Okay. Yeah. With how, like, I thought even after a second or two that DeWalt was gonna gonna bring it back. But then, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my oh, gosh. Archon Reaver. Wow. Dude, I freaking oh, love no, the Archon. The Pat Reaver. <laughs> Seven kills so far. Uh, oh, ten. ten. So let's equalize now what they lost at oh, least. One more shot. 11, okay. And two. That was about 13 probes lost with that. Oh. Dude, yeah. So this is quote unquote the great equalizer DeWalt's back on top <laughs> as far as supply mm-hmm. goes SCVs are probably anyway it's um, I'd say it's equaled and it also has taken some wind out of the cells of Cross to be able to counter but he is going to have vision this is one thing that I was hoping Sky was going to have in his game a little bit earlier was vision up at the top of his base and I think he did get it eventually I don't remember it might have just been lost as well but 
There's Marines here now, and there's an eBay, so the same drop isn't gonna work, and dude, he stemmed target it down so fast. Yeah. That's something I feel like Frost excels at, is definitely minimap awareness. Yeah. And slowly pushing out, I'm... I can see him... I can see Cross winning this engagement if he does decide to push out pretty boldly. But with all the storms, it's gonna be pretty tough. If he's able to sort of shoot down the shuttles with the uh, High Templars, mm -hmm. I can see him winning this. But right now, he's most likely just going to have to wait on a few more tanks. I can see that. Mm -hmm. We've got, on the Protoss side, we've got more Reavers. He is getting at least a upgrade with his Forge. Double Forge, actually. More, So it's kind of more the same, which is fine, because like I said, it's been working. So more Gateways, double upgrades, Reavers, and he's just queuing up in the middle of the map. So I know I have a tendency to kind of click all over, so I really want to just kind of go through and see where each player is at and we've got i'd say so far so good see now, if it doesn't work from one side we're going to go from the other side we got this freaking exactly. shuttle coming in we got the, uh, we got the storm drop oh we see a dodge oh good preemptive storm dude that was okay so wow it ended up being what about, like 14 well, again yeah. and an archon no not the oh my gosh oh, and even that zila accidentally got some kills because yeah. it ran past the SCVs when they're going home yeah. Not the splash damage. Freaking betrayal mm -hmm. siege tank. Okay, this... Alright, so this is what I pictured the first game of the day being like. Terran needing to defend against drops. Protoss constantly trying to drop to, to gain the advantage while they slowly build an army up. Kind of like what you see in 3v3s. While mm -hmm. also Terran slowly... And right now, again, he's just got to focus on his economy. But um, I think what you want to see ideally is just more of a transition into mech dude and here's another drop a double drop i think since he's gonna see it okay so he's oh one reaver shot okay so wow. as far as things nice could have been yeah, yeah great defense and he's building raids this is different and i do like it i was hoping we'd see it earlier where what is it four wraiths or something like that will one shot a shuttle hopefully we'll, uh, two, we'll find two out shot. two shot mm -hmm. okay yeah two Okay, so he's queuing up another one. And again, I don't blame him. This is kind of the path to victory. At the same time, he's just he's not building probes now, but he had been previously. More robo facilities, and it looks like he's... I wonder if he got dragged into that attack. No, he was trying to take out the cliff tanks right now, which is a oh. great play, considering he can get rid of the scouting pylons. But there's just too much going on right now. He tried to storm tanks at the 9, or I'm sorry, 11 position, but there's Wraith now to defend against that shuttle, so... Okay, sort of yeah. skirmishes going on on multiple fronts. It's true. It, it, I get why, from my perspective, it looked a little messy for a second, but it's just because, yeah. like you were saying, they're both trying to break out of what each other is doing. Like, Cross is trying to get rid of all these spotters, like you were saying, and then um, Dewalt was trying to prevent Cross from being able to to uh, break all of that. So clearing... You got the two siege tanks in the front of his base, so that part is good. And... Really, the army for Dewalt has kept small. He does have another pretty big drop. This is usually this is how I see games one. Just big old drops on the main. And really, Cross doesn't have a lot of bunkers at his main. There's not a lot of like mm -hmm. like hard static defense. It's a lot of just soft bio groups, which are good yeah. until the drops drop. Get through, right. Yeah, he's definitely banking on the whole, like, I'm going to catch your shuttles, but... You know, eventually it's going to get to the point where we see, you know, 11 oh shuttles coupled with like five Corsairs, you know, so. Yeah. Uh, is he going to get the storm? I was going to say, yeah, that, that was going to be so dirty. Tumbler. Yeah, that's a fat high tumbler. Oh, so. oh. <laughs> no. Oh. They kind of got baited in. That sucks. Yeah. That was like, I see what happened. The Templar was just so, it was like just the most tempting bait ever. Mm. Looks like he is going to get the shuttle. And really, we got to just worry about this. It was thinned out, so I was gonna say I thought I right clicked on this. So. from eleven, and meanwhile we also have a drop going on three. So there's two drops happening. They're oh, both the kind of looking. Can happen on cross, and the also He's not watching. I know Dewalt is. I'm just gonna see what's gonna happen here at Terran. He did start pulling his SCVs away, so I think he's okay. But he did start like there's a lot of storms on all this bio. What happened over here? Do you know how many probes he got? Looks like he just hit stop uh, on a bunch of probes. Yeah, he did. He did manage to get a shot off, but unfortunately, I don't think it was a significant amount. So, 
Dude, I think uh, that was very admirable of Cross to get as many SCVs away that he did, but he lost almost all of his defending army. Mm-hmm. That was he so much carnage. Sacrificed, yeah, he definitely lost a lot more, um, unfortunately, and uh, we're, I wish I wish we would saw some sort of damage done on DeWalt's eco, but he still has about three and a half or control groups worth of probes, so his eco is perfectly fine, whereas Cross, you can see him just squeezing minerals, like Mm-hmm. Uh, I've only really seen this. Templars. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was going to say these hyped templars at the cliff is going to be super annoying. But true. I mean, it, Frost can still definitely play that slow game. Just keep turtling up, keep keep upgrading, keep getting more factories. Um, oh man, what a spiteful storm right there! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to stop that SEV from making the uh, starport. Comes more drops. Able to defend, but. Just more, just yeah. more death. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Um, what but I was thinking kind of, of back up. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah, no, that's sense. fine. I think he is doing a good job. He's just the one command center is not really going, but his main is going, and so that's it's still really good. And um, I guess what I was going to say earlier is that when I watch people play three v threes, they will have a few bunkers at their main and maybe you don't do that in one V ones, but I've anyway, I've just seen a lot. Oh my gosh. More, more taunting from the Templar 16 kills, by the way, you definitely do with, Oh, we see a great drop coming from the bottom side of three. There we go. Is he going to get it? He's Whoa. not even paying attention. Whoa. So this could be Whoa. his chance. Get the, get the right side at least. Okay. 16, 16, four, and then 18. Okay. So this oh. is, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. About two control groups worth of probes went down there, so awesome. Yeah. Oh, but we can see a drop coming from the one side of 12. Oh, there's, there's no way he can target tonight. all that down. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Run away. Oh, Decent job. Nice, nice. So I think he scanned bottom right at 5 o'clock, mm -hmm. so that's where he could run all of his SCVs away to, which is exactly. really good because right. mm -hmm. yeah. he doesn't have vision anywhere else. What he, I don't know if he's mm -hmm. going to want to do this, but it might be good. Oh, my gosh, the tack is still going. Sorry, I'll he say what I was going to say until later. Uh, but that one shuttle has a storm. That one shuttle has a high template with storm. Does oh. it? It did, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. And this but one's still chilling, too. I was just going to say, if he wanted to leave one of his dropships in the bottom right, he'd have vision so he could click on it. Because if he, if he were to try to click on top of the uh, fog of war, his SCVs wouldn't know what to do, and they'd all fan out and stay in the same spot, and they'd be really a lot easier to kill. Mm -hmm. So, oh my gosh, I wonder who's going to win this fight. Bye, Wraith. So, <laughs> okay, Cross is starting to push out some siege tanks and a Wraith. He wants to get rid of this vision as well as expand his own vision. I wonder mm -hmm. if Devault... DeWalt feels like he's big enough to just go for that big push. Soften up Terran, go for the big push. Um, there's a lot of bunkers, though, and he has left a lot of siege tanks just kind of separated so the storms can't hit all of them at the same time. I don't know if this is going to be enough from Protoss to break Terran. Yeah, carriers are also on the way, so if he decides to pair them up, but Cross does also have... Or he's also been accumulating race, so... I didn't see the scan, but I'm pretty sure he's aware of it considering he's getting cloak. Yeah, that's um, a good plan. And he does have 2-1, and looks like he's getting plus 3 weapons, I want to say, or it could just be plus 2 armor, but either way, I mean, he's he's still good on upgrades, so at this point, if he can just hold out long enough and max out, he could start, you know, push slowly, threatening the push, and, yeah, um, you know, at that point, obviously, it's just a matter of getting the kill, so. For sure. We've got this this big army in the middle of the map and actually I gotta step away for a second. Are you okay to, to solo yeah, cast for a second? All right, BRB. I can't move, but yeah. <laughs> oh man. Right. Coke right now coming from the bottom right, but Oh, he's trying to kill that depot. I guess he's trying to move out. Oh, here comes, this, here comes this cloak. Are we going to see a storm? Yeah, no observer though. At least no observer paired with it. He has three rocks, silly. So if there's not one around, he should have one coming up soon. Okay, I'm back. We've got another drop at the bottom right, mm -hmm. 
And I was able to hear some of what you're saying, how there's no observer. There's two cannons off to the right. Oh my gosh, that's a really good storm. Oh, but the, no, oh the no, drop. the drop. Oh my Damn gosh. Mm. So you've got- and Unfortunately, he let his race go too, so all his race, or most of his race are gone, unfortunately. They're supply, mm. surprisingly similar in supply, but yeah, Terran lost two drops. And the dropships might have been empty, actually. I don't know if I saw them reload. They could have. But mm. the dropships were empty. I'd say the bigger loss is the wraiths. And I hope that he keeps trying to upgrade because he's well, he does have 2-2, two -two, so that's really good. Even to as much like damage as he's taken, he still has 2-2. Two 3-3 -two. Three -three on Protoss. Minus shields. Um, yeah, he's getting Corsairs now. Still don't see Observers out, but he could just be looking to just fire his own carriers with the carry, uh, with the Corsairs and just kill the Rage that way. Oh, there's the Observers. Yeah, okay. that's... So, so we've been talking Rage. about the win condition for Terran a lot. What do you think the win condition for Protoss is? Really, you just want to kill him now, but I mean, it's not impossible to kill them once, even if they do get 3-3 and max out. At that point, you just have to either, you know, have amazing doom drops, make the Terran sort of run back and forth, and then pick off the army in the meantime. But the one thing you just don't want to do is let them siege up and handle, um, engage them that way, right? So, just yeah. with any TVP. So, so, do you think that this is a mistake then, sending in these Zilots? Because now he's just giving up supply and he might be able to just move into the middle of the map. I don't think so. I think he's just going to opt for just shuttles at this point, and he knows that Zealots probably aren't going to be as useful anymore. So. Oh, you can see he was targeting. He targeted down the observers, but he still had to run away anyway because there's only two wraiths left. Right. He, do you think oh, if only he had EMP, he'd be able to EMP those carriers and just like business as usual? And you can mm -hmm. tell yeah. that he does have hold position Valkyries, which is good. Go ahead. Yeah, EMPs could help, but I mean, if, if he just doesn't have enough wraiths to begin with, then you know he can't pick off the observers and he'll die to Corsairs too quickly, so... I think at this point, it's just a matter of, can I just even kill the observers in time? And, you know, yeah, I'm sure one less Wraith couldn't hurt, but I think I think it's just too much right now to so have to do all of that. So. He even has Disruption oh, Web going on right now. Yeah. I'd have to rename him to some DeWalt Webs. <laughs> like, <laughs> Good one. Dude, he's, dude, we could come up with DeWalt puns all day. Dude, he was like, he oh, was I'll maxed. And he, oh, this is, I just wanted to say that Carrier Reaver is so strong. I already knew that like carriers were strong, but he has the carriers. The bio actually does a decent job at fighting the carriers. Mm. But when those Reavers drop and they just, that AOE, that explosion damage, it's insane. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there's the the call of the observers <laughs> he, he's still not out of it though if you think about it he's he hasn't really lost any production buildings he's only lost missile turrets and he hasn't really hit, hit, hit his eco yet so true i mean he's building units on the left hand side and he's still surviving he just needs to get that that mass of wraiths and volks and goliaths and just hold on because he really doesn't have much of a ground army to uh attack with anymore so true Dewalt, i mean i'm almost nervous dual is full steam ahead on the carriers um, I was wondering if what Dual could do in a situation like this is just fight until the carriers die, which I know what I'm about to say is sacrilege, but then Terran will be so focused uh, with Goliaths and so focused mm -hmm. with Valkyries that you just go back into a ground army and then just run them over. Um, right. But again, this is like, this is the premium, this is the premium build right here is just to get to, mm -hmm. to carriers. So just keep rebuilding mm -hmm. them. Dude, two... Two shuttles. I imagine there's going to be Reavers in there. Oh, it's Storm. Oh, oh he missed. He whiffed on the Storm, though. Or yeah. Storms, though. That's true. He had an opportunity to kill most of Cross's eco, and one wasn't, mm -hmm. like, didn't hit. And the other one, he had already ran away a lot of his SCVs. So, very. This is. Oh, dude, this is insane. <laughs> what a fight from Cross. Holy cow. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's holding on for dear life right now. And He targeted oh, the wrong CC, goodness. by the way. He's, he's there. I mean, he's taking away interceptors faster than they can build. So he's, he's yeah. hanging on there. He's just, the, these storms and reavers, though, the, the reinforcements are just, if they, if, I know this is obviously hypothetical always, but if they just weren't coming, these carriers would be gone by now. Dude, I know. Like, and oh. even, 
even if those reavers would just target some of these supply depots, that would supply cap mm -hmm. him. And then that would also, oh my gosh, that Templar getting shot down. Like there's a couple things that Dwalt could do too, to like win more. And it's just so insane that like Cross has almost fought this back like two or three times now, especially that last one, it was really close. There's so many observers. I don't think it's worth it to try to snipe them so that you can get in with the, the carriers. I think what you were saying right. is what he needs to do. Just more wraiths. More wraiths. Keep building. Keep surviving. And oh, here comes the reavers. So there's the supply the, block. Mm -hmm. The thing about the Valkyries is that the one benefit they offer in this scenario is that you can just have it attack and hope that the splash damages will kill the observers. Oh, and there it is. GG. GG. We're so close. We're so close to an upset.